Hello Horror Hounds. I wanted to do a really quick video to share another horror memory of mine. Uh, if you've stumbled across this, it's a semi-regular series as, as they occur to me. You can find the playlist, Horror Memories. But this one was sparked by the review of the craft that I did and mentioning tangentially that uh, Feruza Bulk, uh, who's amazing in the craft, is also amazing in Return to Oz and how scary Return to Oz is genuinely and it triggered off the ancient <laughs> memory now for I Am Ancient of the very first, I believe, uh, real proper movie scare uh, I ever got as a child when I watched The Wizard of Oz and The Wicked Witch of the West scared the absolute crap out of me. I'm not ashamed to admit it, I still say to this day that The Wicked Witch of the West and that performance in Wizard of Oz is chill inducing. But the moment that really got me, I could I could wrap my little brain around, uh, okay, she's she's the bad in, she's trying to stop Dorothy and Dorothy's the goody. I, I, I was fine with it all when it was the witch acting at a distance, you know, through the crystal ball, sending the winged monkeys after them, although the winged monkeys in and of themselves are kind of nightmare fuel anyway. I was fine with all of that until the monkeys took Dorothy back uh, to the Wicked Witch and they were, they were face to face in the same room, in the same shot and it scared it scared the living daylights out of me. Here was young Dorothy Gale, no, no powers, no armour, no defence, no weaponry, nothing. Just, just a country girl and a dog, face to face with this embodiment of evil that was creeping towards her, getting right in her face. And I just remember thinking, she's got nowhere to go. She's got nowhere to go. And that's a, a chill that's sort of even I think about it has, has followed me through my horror viewing. It's, it's recurred in various other instances, few and far between, but uh, in the original Nosferatu, when Count Orlok enters Jonathan Harker's bedroom and then leans over him and he's in his bed and anyway, he sort of scurries back to the headboard and Orlok keeps coming and keeps coming. It's being trapped, but completely powerless in that, space in that frame with with uh, an evil that is that is all powerful and, uh, uh, and at that point again Jonathan he's, he, he can do nothing he's got nowhere to go uh, that chill recurs in a different scene in Werner Herzog's remake of Nosferatu uh, in the during the dinner scene where Jonathan uh, cuts his cuts his finger and Klaus Kinski just and it's a horror, it scares the pants off me. He sees the blood and starts going, Aah. and gets up and casts the, the, the chair aside and harkers backed up against the wall and Dracula is just slowly moving towards him like an insect, but it's, it's not that, it's, it's, it's the fact that Harker is trapped, defenseless in the same space as, as Dracula. It happens probably the next time after uh, seeing Wizard of Oz, it happened to me, it was Hammer's Dracula, horror of Dracula in, in the US, I think. Just Dracula, just plain old Dracula <laughs> to us, to us uh, Brits. But they play a nice little twist right at the start of that movie where you find out that Harker has purposefully gone to Count Castle Dracula to kill the Count and he finds the coffins and he finds Dracula's coffin and he opens the second one and it's it's a female vampire that he chooses to stake first and when he goes back to Dracula's coffin it's empty and he turns and looks at the stairs leading up out of the basement and Dracula fills the doorway, steps in, slowly closes the door behind him and slowly starts to descend. Again, that, that chilled me to the bone when I first saw that as a young viewer because again, it's a powerless victim, completely ensnared, completely trapped. Probably the last time I vividly remember that specific chill happening was the first time I watched Nightmare on Elm Street and Tina's dream, uh, uh, the first real nightmare that we see of hers. And it's not, 
it's not Freddy coming out behind the tree and slicing his fingers off and it's not any of that stuff it's when she goes into the the alleyway and it's not even when his arms extend out it's when she finally the uh, fight or flight kicks in and she runs and there's the shot of her running and Freddy's just chasing her down the alleyway and I just remember that my god she's dead she's dead he's gonna catch her because she's got nowhere to go and the that, that primal sort of predator and prey instinct first hit me in Wizard of Oz with the Wicked Witch of the West <coughs> who to my mind um, is still one of the, the scariest movie villains of all time just just looking through stills of her to use as the thumbnail for this video did honestly, I, I'm not exaggerating, sent shivers down me there's just something there's just something so primal about your first real fright and she was it so a, a tip of the hat to the wicked witch of the west and one of my earliest and most formative horror memories